in Baston. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Well, the second period may have had us on the edges of our seats, but after giving up three goals in just nine shots, a 33.3 save percentage, UC Soros and the Nashville Predators defense tightened up tremendously, taking the Hawks to overtime, then of course, the shootout, where the Preds win a perfect three for three behind goals from Gustav Nyquist, Ryan O'Reilly, who also had a goal during regulation, and of course, the game winner from Philip Forsberg. But what helped that defense tighten up so much? Well, there was one player more than anybody else who stepped up, and it happens to be yet another great game from a player whose future still feels pretty uncertain here in Smashville. The defenseman Dante Fabro is the topic of tonight's one big stat. Dante Fabro, seemingly in the NHL rumor mill every week for the last couple of seasons or so, is the former 17th overall pick in the 2016 draft for the Nashville and came to the Predators with justifiably high expectations. After a season in 2021-22 where he scored three goals and a career-high 24 points, Fabro has come back down to earth on offense, notching just two goals, four assists, and six points this season in 21 games played. But we all know better than to judge defensemen just by their box scores or sorting by points. That's only what Norris voters do. Let's take a deeper look into his defensive ability. Dante Fabro, according to Evolving Hockey's uh, Goals Above Replacement metric, is the third best player on the Nashville Predators in even strength defense behind Roman Yossi and, surprisingly, Michael McCarron, and third overall in defense, including shorthanded. And this game was no difference. With just 11.1 minutes of time on ice this game, the second lowest among all seven Nashville defensemen. With Fabro on the ice at even strength, Nashville led in shot attempts 13 to nine, tied in shots on goal six to six, but most importantly, had a staggering 1.0 to 0.1 lead in expected goals, a game high expected goal percentage of 91%. That means that 91% of all the shot quality generated with Dante Fabro on the ice at even strength came from the Predators. And this isn't new. This is Fabro's 15th game with an expected goal percentage above 50%, meaning that more than half of the total quality generated on the ice at even strength with Fabro on the ice came from the Predators. This is his eighth game above a 70% and his fourth above 80%. In those 15 games, Nashville has only allowed 11 goals at even strength as well. Now, Dante Fabro may not have been the player most Predators fans imagined when he was taken 17th overall in the draft, but he's been one of the better defensemen for Nashville on this team this season, and when given the chance, he's done very well. If it was up to me, Dante Fabro would finish this season in Nashville, especially if he has more dominant games like he did tonight. And that's tonight's one big stat. Back to you, Charlie. Thank you so much.